I mean, it's, this is a tricky debate because both sides are coming at us with dueling statistics, and it's a fairly easy thing to pick and choose. But I, as I did just point out, you presented uh, uh, Gray Davis and Michael Lind arguing for the blue states, a snapshot of, of several ways in which already, uh, if you're in a blue state, you're better off for various reasons. But the, your opponents, I think, are arguing about a dynamic. Uh, as opposed to a snapshot. They're arguing that, that all, everything you say may be true, but that the trend is going in the direction of the, the red states. And I want well to ask said. you, Michael Lynn, to take that on. Yeah, two points about the trend. First of all, the question before the audience is not whether it will be better to live in a red state 30 or 40 or 50 years from now as a result of present trends, but right now. Uh, the second uh, aspect is, what we're really talking about is the southern model versus the northern model. That is, the Great Plains have nine million people. The county of Los Angeles has nine million people. Uh, we, this is largely certain Midwestern states and, and the south. The low wage, low public service, low tax southern model, uh, including states like Texas, that's been the model since before World War I. A hundred years ago, there was a big achievement gap on all of these same statistics between the southern states and the northern states, the so-called blue states. There's still a big achievement gap. It's been closed somewhat by growth of, of the South, uh, uh, partly because of federal investment in, and uh, desegregation in the last century. But so that's, I would turn it into a question to them. What date are we talking about? Because if it's 2013, you get a different answer to the question than in 2035, and what leads you to believe that another 100 years of low-wage, low-tax, smokestack-chasing, luring companies from other states, which Miss Mississippi has been doing for a century, is going to do any better than it has done in the last century? Stephen Moore. Well, look, you're hearing a lot of dueling statistics here, but we as economists um, believe in something called revealed preferences. This is a core tenet of economics, which is you don't have to ask us, you know, which is a better state to live in. You don't have to take Hughes' word for it or my word for it or Governor Davis's for it. Just look at where people are moving. If you were right, people would be moving to the blue states, but they are not. And you may be right that you have all these wonderful things in blue states that make them a wonderful place to live, but you know what? People don't want to live in those states anymore. You're seeing for every one person that's moving to the states that that you're defending, four people are moving to the states. Stephen, that we're how, how is your so? So this is just an incontrovertible fact. People are moving. 